Hi my loves and welcome back to my channel if you're new. Hi my name is Inedis and if you're returning so thank you so much. So in today's video I'm going to be doing a little get ready with me. I have not had time to sit down with you guys to talk. So I was like I'm doing my skincare. I just took a shower. I washed my hair. So I'm like let me talk to you guys. It is currently 1 in the afternoon. <laughs> Don't judge me. So now is when I'm actually like prepping my face doing everything. I've been busy since the morning. I dropped off my daughter. I had a little bit of a headache. So I was like, I took a little bit of time just to like relax. A little bit of coffee, a breakfast, nice breakfast. So yeah, I was like, it, it was a, like a very easy going morning, I want to say. So I wanted to show you like kind of like my skincare routine, the products that I've been doing on my hair, and then kind of like how I do like my little hair. And then, you know, yeah, it's, it's just something normal. <laughs> well, literally. So it's just kind of like a little simple, get ready with me. So I want to share with you guys, these are the products that I've been loving lately. Um, just a little bit of background on my skin. I have always been acne prone. That has been since I was young. Um, I want to say maybe like the first time that I ever got acne was around like 10, 11 years old. A few in here and there. And then in middle school, that was for sure when I had like really active acne. I've tried Neutrogena like different like products so i've never actually gotten anything that like kind of like cleared it up completely and then i want to say like after i turned 15 around there my face like got more clear for sure i still had some acne here and there but it wasn't as active so i've noticed like say if i would like use a little bit of, like um soap i know a lot of people don't like soap but that's what i use it helped clear it up a lot um during that time and now since i am older I've been trying out these products. So these products that I've been using, I've been using them roughly like around like two, three months. And I've actually noticed like a really big change. And with one product that I'm telling you right now that has like stepped up the game for me, it is this one right here. So as you can see, it's still a little bit open. So this here, um, it is the retinol acne oil, I wanna say. Yeah, it's the retinol clearing oil. And it is super good. It will help you because you know retinol helps even if you put like retinol here it'll help to clear your under eyes so I've been noticing that since I've got this one and I only got this one like maybe like less than a less than three weeks it has helped a lot but as you can see I still have a little bit of some acne but here is where usually sometimes I get it so here and here but also one thing if you're not drinking water and you're not eating as you should be you know it will also, you know, like make your skin oily, at least that's for me, and it will provoke, you know, like the acne. So my skin is not perfect, but pretty much the only place where I really get like acne now is around here. So I just kind of like a little general idea. And also my T-zone here, I do get oily and I have dry skin over here so like I have combo skin so I kind of like wanted to show you these products because for me it's helped and by you know just seeing like YouTube videos I've noticed that it's helped me like you know like find products that might work for me I'm gonna stop babbling and I'm gonna actually show it to you so what I use for my under eye is here this is from Chanel and it is La Creme oops it's a under eye cream so I really like it so I just grab that much and place it under both. And what I really like about this product is that it is super hydrating. I haven't noticed like anything. The only thing is that sometimes if you do put concealer on, it might crease if you put too much. That is a heads up. So the next one that I'm going with is this here. So this is serum, which is with vitamin C is called Biolumin C serum, so it helps to clarify, and I really like this one. So, I'm gonna show you how much I put on. So, I put around this much of product. Now, I just add it to my skin. As you can see, my skin is also sensitive, so no matter what I do. It will get red but that'll go down without with the day so 
as you can see it just gives just a little bit of a little glow now which one i'm gonna go in with is the oil like i'm telling you this is super super good add that much and then i just press it in and then sometimes i'll just rub it here at least I just love the glow that these products give. They're super, super hydrating. Especially now in the winter months. Those that have dry or combo skin, you guys need to hydrate. If not, you're going to be so, so dry. Trust me. Like, it's happened to me. Oof. The next products that I go in is I use two moisturizers. I use the vitamin C, which is the bioluminum moisturizer. And this one is the active moist. So I use these two because I want a little bit of glow, but also want to maintain moisturize. And I've noticed like combining like the two, like it's giving me like the finish that I like. So just a little bit dewy. So I add a little bit of each. So I kind of like two little pumps of this. And then around like that much of the other one. Combine them. And I spread this all around my skin and on my neck. And you want to go up. I am not a dermatologist or anything. These are just like kind of like the steps on how it works for me. I might be doing a step wrong. And I'm open to criticism on this, trust me. Because for me, I love, as a reason, like doing my skincare and like finding products that, that will potentially work for me. Because I do not like obviously have an acne and i don't like the dry skin and i always try to hydrate and this like at least these products they work for me even whenever i do my makeup that i don't see any creasing whatsoever so that's an added bonus so, that's how we're looking hmm. and the next one it is new. I used to have the other Tatcha sunscreen. I really liked it. I think it was like SPF 35. I did it for over a year. It was on its last <laughs> leg. But for some reason, Sephora like discontinued. So I was like, I was in Sephora. I was like, I'll also get this one. This one has SPF 50. And it is the silk sunscreen. It is super runny. I like the finish so far. But I think the other one is my favorite. Like I'm saying, I really loved it. It was more like um, velvety, I want to say. It was thicker consistency, and it did not like go all over the place. This one, if it falls, it's going to go all over the place. So this one, I'm kind of still iffy about it, like I'm saying. So for me, still, my number one uh, sunscreen is the other Tatcha, which is the pore perfecting um, sunscreen that I think I'm going to see if I can put like an actual picture here that you can see. It's a little like blue tube, so that's my favorite. So as you can see, this is how it looks. And see, like how it's running like over the place. That's how it looks like. So it literally looks like water. <laughs> but that's how it goes. And I don't like the smell. Like it has like a clay smell almost. But it does not ruin my makeup, which I really like. So... I'm just, I'm trying to see like if it works. And once I'm done with that, if I don't like it, I will probably <laughs> just go and rebuy the other one because I really love it. And I'm so sad. I don't know why Sephora discontinued it. So I have to order from the Tatcha website. So as you can see, look. I don't know if it's catching it good. Because I know it's a little like... But just look at that natural glow. I love that. The last one that I'm using is, I don't always use this, but it is this spray from Tatcha. It is the Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. So I just kind of use it like an over topper, or sometimes I'll even use it like a setting spray. So I'm gonna shake it up. And it just gives it like the little oomph that it needs. <laughs> So those are pretty much the products that I've been using as of recently and I really, really like it. I'm not gonna lie. So now you saw my skin routine. So now I'm gonna go in for the hair. So as you guys know, I already washed it. We're just gonna 
get rid of a little bit of like the extra water that's in there. We're gonna go in with three products. So I use the Olaplex number seven bonding oil. And I'll use the number seven uh, in Olaplex as well, the bond protector. And the number six bond smoother. So I've been using Olaplex for a couple of years now. I go on and off on it because my hair gets really used to the products. So if you see like your hair is like getting oily or if you just notice like a little change in your hair and how it's holding with the products, I definitely recommend switching off at least like the shampoo and conditioner for like a while and go to another one and then come back after a while. So your hair can kind of like refresh yourself. At least that's what I've been doing and it's been really like helping me throughout the years. So I just use a little bit, combine everything. And I just put it through my hair. Okay, so I am back from doing my hair, as you can see. Look at that shine and volume. I'm in love. So now what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna put a little bit of blush. This is from Rare Beauty, and it's in the color Hope. So it is so beautiful. If you guys see on my TikTok, you guys would know I use this. Not every day, but almost every day. And it is so beautiful. It's just the perfect rosy pink blush. Just go like that. Next, I'm gonna go in with the highlight from Rare Beauty and it is Mesmerize. And apply here and here. Look at that highlight. A fun fact is <laughs> I used to put a lot of highlighter and that was because I used to watch a lot. Like remember like back in the day with the makeup community with Nikki Tutorials, she was a highlighter queen. And I was like, oh my God. So that is when I was in my highlighting phase, like you had to highlight like a lot. So I was like, I still love highlighting, but I don't do, I don't put that much. I don't know why the light is like that, but I don't put that much, but just a little bit. And with the skin care that we just did, it does the perfect compliment. Now we're gonna add a little bit of mascara. I'm gonna use it from Huda Beauty. And then it has two sides. So they have the volume and then the curling length. So I'm just gonna do the curling length. I alternate between the two. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the lip. I'm gonna do a little bit of the Rose Evans lip from Dior. And she is so beautiful. She's like a really little like rosy pink color. And she hydrates. She doesn't like dry out. So as you can see, that is today's look. Alrighty guys, so I hope that you guys enjoyed. I wanted to do a little quick get ready with me to show you guys my little skincare and kind of like a little makeup here and there that I do. Um, and then I am hopefully gonna be doing like an actual like makeup look because I've been wanting to test out the new Mario foundation. I have it, I just haven't touched it. So stay tuned for that. And then I'll probably do like a little video also on TikTok. So follow me on my social media. There you can see a little bit more, um, you know, like in depth of my days instead of just here on YouTube where it's just like, you know, like a video. So I hope that you guys enjoyed. I hope that you guys have a wonderful night, day or evening, wherever you guys are. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.